it's a very complicated <laughs> answer, actually, because there's many levels to it. I'm simultaneously so excited and exhilarated, but also terrified. What I'm, I'll start, what shall I start with? I'll start with what I'm terrified about. What I'm terrified about is really the context in which this technology is being deployed. So the culture that we live in, the economic system that we live in, the kind of exploitative, profit-seeking, extractivist culture that we find ourselves in, which is basically raping the planet till we are literally in causing an extinction. We are knowingly destroying the home that we live in for the sake of bottom line to increase, to increase profits. So developing AI by a handful of companies, like literally there's three or four companies who are owning AI right now, and maybe a few startups coming up in this environment is worrying. That's a very real part of the reality of AI. <laughs> and to be more concrete, what I'm referring to is that this is a technology that is going to potentially really <clears throat> increase the inequality gap. It's going to further establish a domination of certain individuals or companies, things like that. On one hand, there's that. On the other hand, what really excites me is, again, I'm someone who's curious and I just love learning stuff and discovering new things. And I think AI is this single most influential technology with regards to learning new things. <laughs> and when I say AI, AI is a very broad term. Already, it's very problematic. I just want to clarify what I mean by AI. <laughs> because by AI, some people think of things like Blade Runner or like robots, they think of 2001. I'm not referring to that when I talk about AI. <clears throat> that is, today we colloquially call that AGI, but AI, what I'm referring to by AI is the technologies that we have today. Really, I want to talk about deep learning, or I want to generalize a bit because deep learning is a bit maybe too specific, <laughs> but software that is able to learn from data. Like that's what machine learning is quite formally. So it's software that's able to learn from data. And deep learning, a very loose definition we can say, is software that is able to learn from very complex, high dimensional, big data. And this is the flavor of AI that's really dominating our lives right now. And I do believe that if, if humanity is going to eradicate cancer and leukemia and Alzheimer's, it's going to happen with the help of AI. Notice I'm not saying that AI is going to solve it. I'm not saying that there's gonna be C3PO robots who's going to solve it. But these are tools that we're going, to be we're going to use to learn new things about ourselves, about the universe. That aspect of it, I'm really fascinated by. And even like LLMs, like with ChatGPT, when you have a conversation with ChatGPT, you're like metaphors fail. Everyone's trying to come up with metaphors like it's a blurry JPEG or it's a, it's a stochastic parrot, it's this, that, the other. I believe we're at a point where these metaphors fail. It's like calling a car a horseless carriage. This is not a blurry JPEG. It's not a stochastic parrot. It's, it is what it is. It's an artificial neural network. It's a transformer that's been trained on gazillions of words and it has some kind of knowledge. And I think this is huge because the paradigm shift that's happening is we have all this knowledge on the internet, but what AI is doing is it's organizing that information and providing an interactive interface to it. So it's a kind of way of searching that knowledge, but also synthesizing new knowledge. It's still very, in its infancy, ChatGPT synthesizes a lot of garbage. But nevertheless, when I have a conversation with ChatGPT, sometimes it feels like I'm having a conversation with 
our elders, with, with Newton, with Einstein, with all these great thinkers. And if you project that into the future, I think on one hand, AI can really help propel us really far. But on the other hand, of course, we have the extractivist, profit-seeking capitalist culture that we're in. And so that clash is going to be really interesting and is ultimately going to determine where we end up.